Hello, how are you today? Good evening. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Hello, Julie. Hello, Crisia. Hello, uh, David. And let's see who else. Okay, very good. Thank you for being here. So punctual for your English class. Uh, how have you been? How is your week going? ¿Cómo va su semana? Very good. So so. So so. <laughs> okay, I know. <laughs> Monday is difficult. Uh, yes. After a, a weekend, it's kind of a hard to try to start again. <clears throat> Sorry. But we are fortunate that we have a job to go and we have many projects to do. Okay. So having this in mind, we are going to start our class. Today we are going to um, start section number two. So this is our second week. Uh, by Thursday this week, we are going to be exactly in a half of the course. So of the course. So um, let me show you in the platform what we are going to do. Okay. So I'm going to share with you this. Can you watch my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, very good. We are now in a 2.0 lesson objective. It says in this lesson, in this section or session, you will learn a vocabulary for, uh, for common health problems, as well as, as well as to listen to a conversation where these new words will be practiced, okay? So uh, normally when we have health problems, we need to express and we need to say uh, other people that we are uh, sick and what uh, happened to us in order that they can understand why uh, we are not feeling so well. Okay, <clears throat> in this uh, section, you have um, a video that says um, vocabulary health problems. And in that video, you can uh, have access to different uh, meanings and then practice listening and speaking. So today we are going to have also a speaking practice. Then uh, we are going to try to advance until session 2.2. It says in this session, you will listen to a conversation where common health problems are mentioned using infinitive complements, okay? So this part we are going to cover uh, today. And again, you have there a video where you can listen to the, to the uh, platform teacher uh, to say some examples. And so uh, that's the way we are going to advance, right? Uh, we are going to cover this. Uh, what should I do for? And then it's a good idea to do this and that, okay? So, uh, that's for today in the platform. So I'm going to stop this share and I'm going to share my presentation with you, okay? Okay, very good. Can you watch my presentation now? Pueden ver mi presentación ahora? Yes, yes, be sure. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, hello, Juan Carlos. Hello, Noé. Okay, hello, hello Katia. Hello, hello, Elizabeth. Hello. Okay, very good. Uh, so, uh, just to remind you uh, how you can express or how you can ask about uh, the health of a person or the, how they feel or how they are, you, normally the common question is, how are you? Or you can say, how are you today? How do you feel? How do you feel today? But you need to give intonation because this is a question. So when you feel uh, uh, positive, you feel uh, well, you, self, you say fine or good, great, fantastic. But when you're sick, even your tone of voice changes and you say sick, awful, terrible, miserable, okay? Because you don't feel well. You can say, um, I'm sick, I feel sick, not so, uh, for the question, how are you? You can say, I am sick. For the question, how are you today? You may say, I feel sick. 
uh, for the question, how do you feel? You can say not so good also. And how do you feel today? You can say uh, not very well. Also. Okay, so uh, I want you to repeat with me and then I want you to ask to a partner. Okay, let's repeat the question. How are you? How, how are, you? are you? Like the answers, fine. Fine. Sick. 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 I'm sick. I'm sick. How are you today? How are you today? today? Good. 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 Awful. 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 I feel sick. I, I feel, feel sick. sick. How do you feel? How, How do, do you feel? feel? Great. 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 Terrible. 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 Not so good. Not so good. How do you feel today? How do you, How do you feel today? today? Fantastic. Fantastic. Miserable. Miserable. Not very well. Not very, Not very well. well. Okay, so you, you say, uh, this is a short conversation. How do you feel? Ask one boy. And the other said, Not so good. What's the matter? ¿Cuál es el problema? What's the matter? I have a headache. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay? So here it says that when you hear when you hear or see that someone is not well, then you can ask what's the matter or what's wrong. Cuando usted tiene señales visibles o escucha que alguien no está bien, usted puede preguntar what's the matter, cuál es el problema, porque evidentemente la persona tiene un problema. Or you may, may say what's wrong, que, que hay de malo, que cuál es el, eh, que está mal, ¿verdad? And then the person who is sick or has a health, a health problem can uh, answer um, or may respond. I have, and then you can say the health problem you have, or I got, and then the health problem. For example, I have a sore throat, okay? I have a sore throat. Okay, I would like to ask you to please ask a question uh, to one of your partners. Quiero que le pregunten a un compañero, ya sea, how are you? How are you today? How do you feel? And how do you feel today? Okay? So, I would like to start and then uh, you can uh, give back the question. Puede devolver la pregunta, ¿verdad? A su compañero. And so on until everybody participates. But I want you to please uh, give the intonation. Quiero que le den la entonación, ¿verdad? <laughs> a la pregunta y si se siente bien pues es el sentir de que se siente bien y si se siente mal pues también verdad okay who wants to to voluntarily start remember that this is your speaking practice opportunity me <coughs> teacher okay Julie go ahead okay Katia. Okay, Katia. Okay. Katia and Julie. Okay, Katia. How are you? How are you? I'm sick. Okay, thanks. Now you, Katia, ask to Julie. How do you feel, Julie? I feel great. Okay, great. Very good. Okay, another volunteer. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Katia, and thank you, Julie. Okay, Elizabeth and Crisia, could you please work together? Yes. Okay, go ahead. So, Crisia, how are you today? I'm good. Great. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Let's see who else. David. I teach. Okay, hello. Who would you like to work with? Con quien le gustaría trabajar? We have uh, Arnold, Noé, Juan Carlos, Miguel. Um, Noé. Okay, Noé. Okay, okay. Uh, hi, Noé. How do you feel? Uh, hi, David. Um, uh, I feel not so good. I feel a little sick. 
sorry yeah, to hear that. I am sorry to hear that. Very good. Now you ask to David, Noe. Okay. Uh, hello, David. Uh, how are you today? I am good. Thanks. Okay, very okay, good. Very well. Very good. <laughs> Thank you, my dears. Thank okay. Uh, let's see. Miguel, would you like to participate? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. We have available Juan Carlos. Uh, yes. Yes, I think Juan Carlos because the other the other boy it seems that it's not connected. Okay. Juan Carlos, are you available to participate? Hello. Hello, Juan Carlos. Okay. Uh, would you like to participate with me? Would you like to ask me a question, Miguel? Yes, teacher. Okay, please go ahead. How are you today? I'm great. How do you feel? I feel fantastic today. Oh, great, wonderful. Okay, <laughs> thank you for asking. Let me ask you today, uh, now to you. Okay, uh, Miguel, uh, how yeah. do you feel? I feel better. Okay, uh, it's good to hear that. Okay, thank you, Miguel. Okay, let's advance. Vamos a avanzar un poquito. Okay. Okay, here I have a, pre a presentation that describes uh, some health problems, okay? When you see that a person is sick, then you can ask what's wrong, and then the person can say, I have asthma, I, I have a backache, I have a broken leg, I have a cold. Um, let's see. Oops, too much. I have a cold, I have a cough, uh, I have an earache, I have a fever, I have the flu, I have a headache, I have a heartburn, I have the muscles. I have a rash, I have a sore throat, I have a stomach ache. And in, if you see in the US, they join, they, the, the word it's uh, joined, uh, united, it's one word. But in British English, is, they, they separate, they say stomach ache, they separate and they, they write two words, two words. Sunburn, a toothache. Okay, so those are some of uh, health problems. And you can say, what's wrong? What's the matter? And the answer is, I have, and then you can mention, okay? Uh, here I have others. For example, you can say, uh, I have a broken leg, I have a bruise, I have a cold, I have a cough, I have a cramp, I have a cut, I have an earache. I have a fever, I have a headache, I have a runny no nose, I have a sore throat, I have a stomach ache, I have a stuffy no nose, I have a sunburn, I have a toothache. Okay, so what I want you to do now is that you can ask again the same questions to, you, to your partners, but now I want that you pretend that you are sick and that you can choose one of these um, health problems in order to say how do you feel, okay? Eh, ahora vamos a hacer el ejercicio, pero quiero que se imaginen, ¿verdad? Porque definitivamente no queremos que estén enfermos. Les voy a mandar las imágenes. Entonces quiero que, que supongan que están enfermos y que sus respuestas sean eh, una de estas situaciones. So I will send you the pictures. And I would like that once again, you can try to work together, okay? So let's see. I will send you the two pictures I took. Okay, there you have. 
Okay, if you want, you can work with the same people you started the conversation. Si quieren, pueden trabajar con las mismas personas que, que hicieron la conversación anterior. Or you can, for example, in the case of Miguel, uh, he can work now with Guillermo. Hello, Guillermo. Are you there? I don't know if Guillermo can. Okay. Hello, hi. Hello, hi. Hello. It's good to have you in class, Guillermo. What? It's good to have you here uh, connected in class. Uh, thank you. Are, are you driving, my dear? Yes. Okay, don't, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. I know that. Okay, don't worry. Very good. Okay, just, just listen to us, okay? Because I, I was uh, wondering if you would like to participate with, with a conversation, but I don't know. Driving, maybe this is not possible. So you tell us. Okay, very good. Eh, parece que, que Guillermo nos está escuchando, pero está manejando. Entonces, si no, eh, Miguel va a trabajar conmigo o con Juan Carlos, pero no sé si Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, hello. Hello. Ah, oh, great. Juan Carlos is there. Okay. So, Juan Carlos, I would like to ask you to please work with Miguel. Okay. 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 Very good. Great. So, I'm going to uh, show you again the questions. And now you will suppose that, or you will answer when, when someone asks you, how do, uh, what's the matter, right? Uh, or, or what's wrong? Porque estamos suponiendo que ya usted vio que la persona está enferma. Entonces usted puede preguntar, what's the matter? Like this. Or what's wrong? And then you say, I have. And then you add one of the problems that appear in the pictures I sent. Entonces usted le agrega cualquiera de los problemas de las, de las imágenes que envió. ¿Ok? Ready? Ready. Okay, Elizabeth. I will work with Julie. Okay, Julie. Are you available? Okay. Yes, Julie. Okay. Go ahead. What's the hey. matter? What's the matter? I have a sore throat. Okay. Okay, now Julie, ask to Elizabeth. Where's the matter? I have a backache. Okay, very good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you, my dears, uh, Julie and Elizabeth. Okay, uh, let's see who else is ready. Quien más está listo o lista? Crisia. Go ahead, Crisia. Who would you like to work with? Con quien le gustaría trabajar? Crisia. La vi que levantó la manito. Ok, ahí está Crisia. Pero tiene mute. Ok, very good. Ok, Crisia, who, you, who would you like to work with? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe Katia? Are you okay. there? Ok, go ahead. Crisia okay. and Katia. Ok, Katia. Katia, what's wrong? I have a sore throat and a headache. Oh, wow. Sorry to hear that. And then, uh, Katia, please ask uh, Christian. What's the matter, Christian? I have a broken leg and a fever. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, very <laughs> good. Like it. Very well done. Thank you, ladies. Okay, uh, who else? Who wants to continue? Okay, uh, Noe, go ahead. Who would you like to work with? Um, I work with... Um, we have David uh, still pending to participate. So if you'd like to, to work with David. Okay, David. David, okay, no, yeah. David Tell me. Uh, what's the matter, David? Uh, I have a bad case and headache. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. 
Hey, Noe, how do you feel? Um, not so good. I have the flu. Oh, I am sorry to hear that. Okay, very okay. good. Thank you, my dears. Okay, now it's Miguel's and Juan Carlos' turn to participate. Hey, Miguel, how do Hello, you feel? Hello, Juan Carlos. Hello. Hello, Miguel. How do you feel? Um, I feel... <laughs> I have... Uh, excuse me? I have, yes, it's correct. I, I have a broken leg. Oh, oh I sorry though that uh, to, to hear, to hear that. that. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, Miguel. Now okay. ask to Juan Carlos. Okay. What's the matter, Juan Carlos? Um, I have a fever. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Okay. No problem. Okay, thank you so much. Very good. Uh, great practice. Okay, I have the health problems. Um, this is additional vocabulary that I want to share with you. <laughs> when you go to the doctor, you can say, doctor, I need your help. My head hurts. What's wrong with me? My skin is itchy. I can stop scratching. Itchy is me pica, ¿verdad? Mi piel me pica. I can stop scratching. No puedo parar de, ras de rascarme. My ears are sore. I can hear. Mis oídos están como tapados, ¿verdad? Sordos. Yeah. I can hear. No puedo escuchar. Yeah. I have a toothache. I think I have a cavity. Tengo un dolor de dientes. Creo que tengo una caries. Eh, cavity es caries, ¿verdad? Uh, then you say my arm is sore. Eh, me duele el brazo, ¿verdad? O está lastimado. I cut my finger. The bleeding won't stop. Me corté el dedo. El sangrado no para. No, no va a parar. My waist is getting bigger. I'm overweight. Es como mi vientre se está abultando. I'm overweight. Tengo sobrepeso. That's our problem when we eat a lot of pupusas <laughs> and taquitos <laughs> and burgers. Yeah. Yeah. My nose mm -hmm. is runny. My eyes are dry and watery. I cut my tongue. My, th my throat is dry. I can stop coughing. My chest feels tight. I can yeah. breathe. Like this, I can breathe. No puedo respirar. My stomach hurts. My knees keep locking, like clock, clock, random. My, my legs <laughs> feel uh, weak, débiles, ¿verdad? Mis piernas se sienten débiles. Okay, now let's repeat these expressions and then we move to the next part of the class. Okay, let's repeat together. Uh, let's start with the hair. My hair is falling out. My, my hair, hair is falling out. out. I'm, I'm going bold. I'm going bold. Am I going bold? Am I going bold? Am I going bold? Sí, él se pregunta, am I going bold? ¿Me estoy puesto algo? Ok. My nose is running. My nose, my my nose, nose is, running. is running. My eyes are dry and watery. My, my eyes are dry and watery. and watery. I cut my tongue. I, I cut my tongue. My, tongue. my throat is dry. My throat, My throat is dry. dry. I can stop coughing. I can stop, stop coughing. coughing. My chest feels tight. My chest, My chest feels tight. I, I can't breathe. I can't, I can't breathe. breathe. My stomach hurts. My, My stomach, stomach hurts. My knees keep locking. My, My knees, knees keep locking. locking. My legs feel weak. My, my legs weak. I twist my ankle. I, I twist my, twist my ankle. ankle. My waist is getting bigger. My, my waist, waist is getting, waist getting, getting bigger. 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 Am I overweight? Am I, am I, I overweight? Overweight? 
I cut my finger. The bleeding won't stop. I, I cut, cut my, my finger. 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 The bleeding won't stop. My arm is sore. My, my arm, arm is sore. My arm is sore. I have a toothache. I have a toothache. I think I have a cavity. I think I have a cavity. My ears are sore. My ears are sore. I can't hear. My skin is itchy. My skin is itchy. I can stop scratching. I can stop scratching. My head hurts. My head hurts. My head hurts. My hair hurts. What's wrong with me? What's, What's wrong, wrong, with me? wrong with me? Okay, very good. Now I have here this uh, vocabulary dictionary. So uh, if, uh, for the people who knows about medicine and hospitals and all that things, it uh, could be easy uh, or easier uh, from the other people. So we have some words in the middle of the, of the screen and then in the, la in the left side and in the right side and on the right side, uh, we have some words. I mean, with some pictures. Uh, the words, the key words are temperature, doctor, x-ray, hospital, eye drops, plaster, nurse, drip, sling, thermometer, headache, ambulance, orderly, pills, stretcher, flu, operating room, a cap, inhaler, sleep desk, a coach syrup, I mean, so cough syrup. Earache, stethoscope, crutches, prescription, chisin, toothache, uh, ta uh, table, tablets, uh, injection, stomachache, wheelchair, sticking plaster. So we have these words, and I would like to please you take um, at least two words, que cada uno tome al menos dos palabras, <laughs> and then you try to, to find the object. Okay, so look at the object and try to relate with the vocabulary, with the words. Vean los objetos eh, y traten de eh, ubicarlos con la palabra, okay? So I will be here ready for you to eh, look and say, okay? For example, you say, Teacher temperature is number X, okay? Y me dice el número. Okay, Elizabeth? Okay, wheelchair is number one. Okay, very good. And the other one is ambulance. Okay, ambulance. Is number 27. 27. No, ferry, ferry, sorry. Which one? Let's see. Uh, Sorry, 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 sorry. I, I, I will move. Let's see where the ambulance is. Yeah, it's a 30, right. Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Elizabeth. Okay, who else is ready? ¿Quién más está listo? Me. Katia. Uh, go ahead, Katia. That's easy for you. <laughs> Um. <laughs> Katia is a doctor. <laughs> so you know everything. <laughs> like and doctor number 31. Okay, very good. X-ray. Okay, X-ray. Number 14. Okay, very good. Give us another, Katia, you know everything. <laughs> Eye drops. Mm. I don't drops? know. Okay, I will move this in order that you can find. No. And number 11. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Thank you, Katia. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, Crisia. Um... Plaster, I don't know, teacher. <laughs> nurse. <laughs> okay. Nurse. 
It, it's 22. 22 is which one? Nurse. Yeah, okay. And the other one? Trip. Mm -hmm. mm. Which is number three? Or which one do you say? No, drip. Drip, where is that? Uh, which is drip? Number? Number three, you say drip. number three. Okay. No. <laughs> no. Uh, let's see. A stretcher, stretcher is number three. Um. Las muletas, ¿verdad? Ok, uh, maybe you can choose sí, another sí. one. Si puede escoger otra, si usted quiere. Ok. Um, Thermometer. Ok, which is, which is the number? Mm, number 13. 13, let me see. Let's see, I don't see number 13. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's it. There, there it is. Okay, thank you. Okay, another volunteer? Me, me teacher. Me teacher. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I have two me's. Okay, uh, David and then Noe. Okay, uh, so we yeah, are co -thyroid. Which one? Um, co -thyroid. Uh, number four. Let's see. Yeah, cough syrup. And another one is fields. Mm -hmm. It's number eight. Let's see. Where is number eight? In the right. Ah, pills. Yes, that's it. Pills. Yes. Yeah, very good. Okay. A any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, no, eh? Um, number one is a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. wheelchair. But, but it was already said. Esa ya la habían dicho. Ah, okay. Yeah. Um, Tell me other one. Number seventeen mm -hmm. is prescription. Yes, very good. Prescription and uh, number three, X ray. X rays. Number three, yes. you say one. Uh, that's uh, 14. Let me see. Uh, no. No, it's number uh, three because number 14 uh, no, yes, yes, yeah, yes, num yes, uh, right. is uh, the other one. Number, number three is. Um, no, number three is x rays. Está correcto. Está correcto. Tooth Porque, eight. Um, let me see. No, it's toothache. Tiene razón. Yes. Pero yes. el number 14 mm -hmm. es. Había uno del... X-ray. X-ray. Ajá. Pero hay uno que se parece. Ya le voy a decir. Ajá. Es el number 23. El, el number 23 es slip disc. Ajá. Se uh, parece. They, they are similar, but they are not the same. Ok. Thank yeah. you. Very good. Thank you, Noé. Ok. Who else? ¿Quién más? Me, teacher. Ok. Julie. Or future doctor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. And number 20 mm -hmm. is ear eight. Which one? Ear eight. Number 20. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But let's see what it is. Esa. La que está en rojo. Ear eight. Yes. Yeah, uh, any, any other? Number... 
Ya no me acuerdo cuál iba a decir. <risa> Number five. Ajá. Y... Fields, maybe. Eh, five. No. Temperature. Temperature, yes, temperature. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, who else? Me, Nobody? teacher. Okay, go ahead. Miguel, right? Operating okay. room. Yeah. 17. Let's see, 17. This is, yes, that's Operating right. Operating room. Yes. <coughs> and, and prescription is 21. Ok, mm, yes, but it was already said, pero ya esa ya la habían dicho. Choose another one, please. Choose another <laughs> Injection uh -huh. is uh, number six. Yeah, very good. Thank you, Miguel. You're welcome. Nobody missing? Nadie se nos ha quedado? Ok, very good. Eh, let's see the, the most difficult one. Sticking plaster. El sticking plaster es como el material para el enyesado, ¿verdad? Eh, veamos. Mm. Let me see where it is. Number 16. 16. No. Yes. I can, yes. Uh, then you have the other, the, the crutches son las number, number seven, la coleta, ¿verdad? Mm. El plaster. El, el key sign es el number 25, ok? El, el té, ¿verdad? El tecito ese calientito. Mm -hmm. eh, stethoscope, nadie creo que me lo dijo. No. ¿Sí? No. Y ahí está, el, el stethoscope estaba fácil, pero what number? 15. 15. Yes. 15. yes. The flu was number 12. Tampoco nadie me la dijo. Eh, Plaster. ¿Dónde está plaster? Plaster. What ah, does it mean? Yeah, plaster es, eh, a ver, déjenme ver, es que tengo ahorita un, un el stretcher, el stretcher es el, el, el cabestrillo, ¿sí? Y el plaster, ya les digo ahorita que es el plaster. Creo que es el yeso como tal, pero ahorita se lo, se lo digo porque ya me switché de mi cabeza. Como no soy doctor in English. <ríe> y ahorita Sorry. Les digo, Don't worry. No, yo los tenía todos los meanings, pero ahorita que hemos estado jugando ya me... Plaster meaning. Ok. I will give you in English. A soft mixture of lime with sand or cement and water for spreading on walls. Sí, es el, el yeso. Dice, es una suave mezcla de, eh, como de cal con arena y cemento, ¿verdad? Es el yeso. Sí, it's number 16. I think 16. Yes, that's plaster. And then, eh, let's see. Ah, el, perdón, estaba equivocada. Slim es el cabestrillo. El, que, el number 14, right? 14. Yes. Um, let's see what else. Porque Thermometer me. headache. 18. In other teacher is number 20. Which one? In other. Order. Training. Is between check, check, and yeah, sleep. It, it let's see. Orderly. Meaning. Yeah, it's, uh, it's an attendant in a hospital responsible for the non-medical care of patients and the maintenance of order and cleanliness. Orderly. And maybe it's, 27. 20, it's, let's see. 27. 27, let me see, I can watch because of this. Yes, that's, no, but yeah, 27, that's right, because 31 is the doctor. Yeah, that's okay. right. Okay, my dears, very good. Very uh, nice work with the... Um, Number 28. 28. Let's see. It's 
Speaking with inhaler? No, it's not inhaler. Flu stretch stretcher. Maybe it's a stretcher. Stretchers meaning a framework of two poles with a long piece of canvas. No, esa es la camilla. Era, era la camilla. Primera. Yeah, stretcher. Uh, pills, orally, ambulance, headache, thermometer, sleep, drip. Es el drip. Drip, ya les digo. Drip meaning. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it says, uh, let gotero. fall or be so wet. Es el gotero. Sí, a el so gotero. shed small drops of liquid. Yeah, 20, it's 28. The drip. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome, my dears. Nice. Very good job with the dictionary with medical terms. You know, it's not easy. That's why doctors study so hard. <laughs> Eight long, long, long years to become a doctor. Okay. Yes. Oh, so congratulations for the ones that are doctors and for the Thank ones you. that soon will become. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Let me see what I can do. I will stop share right now because I don't know what is. Okay, let me try again because it seemed that it was frozen. Okay, no me deja. Déjenme ver qué pasa, chicos, porque se me, se me puso frozen mi, mi compu. Okay, ahí está. Okay, let's see. Me voy a salir de la pantalla completa. Okay, very good. Uh, since we already have uh, practiced uh, these uh, expressions, I will continue in order uh, to advance because of the time. Now you know that when the problem is uh, visible and you can notice, you ask what's the matter or what's wrong, okay? And the answer is I have, ah, uh, and then you say the problem. So you have the structure is the subject, I, the verb have, and then the noun, a headache, a backache, a toothache, a stomachache. But when people ask you, how are you? You say, I'm sick or I am well. Okay, when people ask you, how do you feel? You may, you may say, I feel well, I feel great. Or if it's negative, the, the, the answer, you may say, I don't feel well, or I feel terrible. And then you say uh, the subject, I, the word feel, and then the, the noun, terrible, awful, bad, not so well. And then uh, the better expression uh, is, I hope you feel better soon. Espero que te mejores pronto. I hope you feel better soon. Okay, so uh, I would like that in the couple of minutes we have missing, uh, you can try to practice this conversation, okay? Between Mr. Ruiz and Jani. Uh, this is the case when you're sick, <coughs> excuse me, and you need to call to your office, <coughs> excuse me, saying that you're sick. So in this conversation, Mr. Ruiz says, good morning, this is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz, uh, this is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani, tell me what's the matter. I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days, I go, two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you're feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in, in a tip-top shape. Take it easy, Yanni. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, a lot Mr. Ruiz. I have, have a nice rest of the day. So if you see, it's a conversation uh, where they're using um, like uh, idioms, okay? Es una conversación donde están usando lo que en inglés se llama idioms, que en español es como dicho, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, my stomach is killing me. Mi estómago me está matando. Eso es un dicho para explicar que le duele mucho. It, it hurts uh, much. 
or you can say I'm sick as a dog <laughs> in the in the normal uh, day by day language. They say I'm sick as a dog. Me siento enfermo como un perro. Es como cuando decimos aquí me siento re mal. Um, the other one de is la patada. Uh, de la patada. Yes. <laughs> I was feeling under the weather too. Eh, yo me estaba sintiendo eh, under the weather es cuando decimos eh, me llueve sobre mojado, ¿verdad? Eh, yo estaba sintiéndome que me llueve sobre mojado también. Oh, really? There's something going around. Es como que hay algo eh, en, el, en, en el ambiente, ¿verdad? Que nos está haciendo o nos está poniendo mal. Eh, I'm in tip-top shape. Ahora es como estoy de toque, como decimos en salvadoreño, vea. Hoy ya me siento bien. Take it easy. Es como agarrarlo al suave, vea. <ríe> agarrarlo al suave. Ok, so I don't know. I would like to have a pair of volunteers to perform this conversation. Necesito dos voluntarios, Crisia. Okay. Meet teacher. Ok, Crisia y Noé. So, Noé es Mr. Ruiz and Crisia is Jani. Go ahead, my dears. Okay. Good morning. This is, this is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in a tip-top shape. <clears throat> Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Very good. Congratulations. Just a couple of words to repeat to everybody. Stomach. <coughs> Stomach. 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 Eh, Stomach. It's, it's Stomach. like a C. No suena como C, sino como una C. Stomach. Stomach. Eh, yes. Stomach. Eh, luego la otra sería uh, better. 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 Uh, incluso en el American English es is better. Like like soft R, but if you if you listen to a British English, they say better, or dicen beta. I feel better. I hope you feel better soon. Entonces, pero en el American English, lo más común es escuchar better, okay? Um, better. Yeah, uh, let's see what else. I think, the, uh, what's the matter? Matter. 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 Es, como, matter. Es, como, es como better. En el American English is matter. Pero si usted escucha un British English, they say, mat, what's the matter? Okay? So for you to have uh, that both ways can be listened and said. Okay, uh, I have here another conversation, but I would like to have another, uh, another pair of uh, volunteers. Me gustaría tener otro par de, de voluntarios. Okay, in this case, I will read it first and then uh, I have Elizabeth and I will uh, ask for another uh, volunteer. It says, uh, Sarah says, hello, doctor, I need your help. Hello, Sarah, what seems to be the problem? Well, I have a bad cough and sore throat. I also have a backache. How long have you had these symptoms? About two days now. Have you taken your temperature? I've got a high temperature. Have you got any other symptoms? No. Mm, it sounds like you got the flu. Take aspirin every four hours and get plenty of rest. Make sure to drink lots of fluids. Call me if you're still sick next week. I'll do. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, so I have uh, Elizabeth and let me see. Oops, sorry. Elizabeth y quien más? Let me see. Elizabeth. Me. Eh, okay, Elizabeth. Katia. Okay, Katia. Elizabeth and Katia. So uh, maybe Elizabeth would like to be Sarah and Katia would like to be the doctor, as, <laughs> as it is in real life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Hello, doctor. I need your help. Hello, Sarah. 
what seems to be the problem? Well, I have a bad cough and sore throat. I also have a backache. How long have you had these symptoms? About two days now. Have you taken your temperature? I got a high temperature. Have you got any other symptoms? No. Mm, it sounds like you've, you've got the flu. Take aspirin every four hours and get plenty of stress. Make sure you drink lots of fluid. Call me if you're still sick next week. I'll do, thanks. Okay, very good. Congratulations, my dears. Very good job. So now I have here, uh, just for, we are about to finish the class, but I, I would like to share with you those idioms that are word or phrases, which means something different from their literal meaning. For example, to be, it, to be up in one's ears in work means to have a lot of work. Es como estoy hasta las orejas, ¿verdad? O hasta los oídos de trabajo. Eh, as sick as a dog era enfermo como un perro, ¿verdad? Como escuchamos en la conversación. Under the weather tú es como también estuve, ¿verdad? Eh, me estuvo lloviendo, sobre mojado. There's something going around. Es como que hay algo, ¿verdad? Por ahí en el ambiente. My stomach is killing me. Eh, mi estómago me está matando. Take it easy. Como relájate, tómalo al tranquilo, al suave. Can't afford to. Es como no puedo soportar qué. Calling sick. Un calling sick es eh, llamar y decir que está enfermo, ¿verdad? Tip top shape es como ya estar de toque después de que estuvo enfermo. Okay, so I would like to ask one of you to choose one word, one of the sentences and uh, replace. For example, the, the formal language is my stomach hurts badly. Eso es lo formal, ¿verdad? Y lo que yo pretendo enseñarles es lo formal. Pero también en el, en el day by day conversations, ustedes se van a encontrar con esos idioms. Y a veces uno se queda, ¿y qué quiso decir? What's the meaning? What does he want to say? Uh, so that's why I'm. It's not because it's formal English, no es inglés formal, aclaro, no es lo que estamos enseñando, digamos, eh, en el nivel formal, pero ocurre que a veces ustedes escuchan estos idioms en, en el idioma diario de las personas o en la comunicación diaria y uno se queda como, ¿qué quiso decir? Entonces son como los dichos, ¿verdad? En cada, en cada país, en cada región. So I would like that you can choose one, me gustaría que pudieran escoger una. Y decirme cuál le corresponde de esos idioms. El otro es to be very sick. Number two. Number three, to relax, to rest. Number four, not feeling well. Eh, number five, in great, great condition. Number six, don't have time to. Eh, seven, many people have the same thing. Number eight, to phone the, phone the office to say you are sick. Okay, okay Elizabeth, well, go ahead. Okay, I will start with number one. Okay. My stomach is killing me. Okay, very good. Thank you, Elizabeth. You're welcome. But uh, say the proper, dígame el, 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 la, original, okay. la oración original, y, okay, y luego el okay. idiom. My stomach hurts badly. Mm -hmm. So my stomach is killing me. Okay, in popular language, right. Very good. Thank you, Elizabeth. Any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, uh, Katia, no, Julie, right? Okay, Jul Julie? Number two. Okay. Julie, very sick. Mm -hmm. is number one, as sick as a dog. Very good, thank you, Julie. Okay, okay. okay. Guillermo? Um, calling sick, number seven, to call the office to say you are sick. Okay, number very eight. good, thank you, number eight, nice. Okay, Crisia. Uh, number three, to relax, to rest. It's number five, take it, take it easy. Very good, thank you, Katia. Okay, next volunteer. Crisia. Okay, Katia. Mm -hmm. Escuché a Katia, no. Number four. Okay. Not feeling well. Okay. Under the weather too. Okay, very good. And the last one, la última. Uh, me teacher. Okay, Noé. 
in great condition, tip top shape. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, my dears. Because of the time, I need to stop here. Uh, I will uh, share with you this presentation for you to continue practicing. I'm sending you also uh, some other idioms and, and any, uh, some other exercises for you to continue looking about uh, health terms uh, related. Okay, uh, it has been a pleasure to have you here in class and I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Okay. Good night. Very good. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.